Hello guys, it's me Sanatan and welcome to DIY Craftopedia. I recently visited to a terracotta shop and there was a sale over there. I happened to buy many pots for a great price. So this summer it's going to be a pot painting fest in my channel. Anyway, I have watched the pot and I'm going to give a enamel coat to it. I usually prefer earthly colors like the brown which I'm going to use for my pots because it gives a natural look. And just don't forget to cover your workspaces with newspaper and don't forget to wear gloves as well because in case you end up paint your workspace or uh, get your hands dirty with enamel it's just a huge mess you'll have to use a lot of varnish to wash off that paint and it's a bad smell and yes I'm using an old hair dye brush because I do not wish to ruin my costly synthetic brushes by using them for enamel painting Well I'm almost done and I'm going to leave it for 24 hours in a place where a lot of dust doesn't fall on it and just wait for it to get dried. Meanwhile let's look at flower making. For beginners my advice is to first practice with play dough used by kids because shilpkar or white M seal hardens up really quickly. First of course you need to make a few balls as shown. And then use your thumb and forefinger to pinch one side of the ball as shown to make a teardrop shape. And now you'll need a small scissors. First, cut the ball into half like that. Open it, cut them into half again so that you'll get four equal parts which will be our four petals for the flower. Just open them up a bit. Pinch the ends of each petals using your thumb and forefinger like that and then squish them or flatten them up so that you can get the flower ready. Again use your thumb and forefinger to do a bit of adjustments. Adjust the petals a bit more, I mean push them up and curl them down to get a natural look and that's it, that's the flower. Practice making these flowers until the pot gets ready.
And now that the pot has dried, let's make the flask with Shilpkar. I hope you know how Shilpkar comes. I mean it comes in two packets. One is in dirty yellow color and the other one is in white color. You need to mix both of them to get the clay and then you can make the shapes. And now of course we are going to arrange them on the pot which is my favorite part of the entire process. Now of course we are going to leave it to dry for 7 hours. Let's get to the painting work. I am using metallic paints, metallic acrylic paints for the work because I personally love using metallic paints on pot works. And of course I am using the thinnest brush I have got. That's because we have got a very delicate design with us and a lot of nooks and corners to paint and a bigger brush would be really inconvenient. First I am painting my first flower with the metallic pink color and I am giving a shade with violet color. I am going to do this throughout the design as an alternatively that is the first flower with pink color and uh, the second flower with the violet color. That's the finished product and I've used metallic red to give a bit of enhancements on the pot and of course I made a pair of leaves using metallic green again. Hope you like the design, don't forget to give your views down in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel.